It's Madden NFL 24. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Detroit Lions and the Los Angeles Chargers. All that and more coming up next. From the second largest city in the U.S., Los Angeles, California, we've got football as EA Sports coverage of the NFL is on the air. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Detroit Lions taking on the L.A. Chargers. Happy to be on hand. I'm Brandon Gordon with Charles Davis. And before we kick, partner, your keys to the game, please. Well, my keys are on the defensive side of the ball for both teams. And the big one, making sure you avoid giving up the big play. These safeties are going to get tested all game long. Their job, keep the ball in front of them, tackle people, make them run extra plays in order to try and score. kicker that's Cameron Dicker set to get us started and we are underway here in Los Angeles here comes Khalif Raymond from his end zone and a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14 well, the Lions offense getting ready to go to work here and under center a man whose career has been rejuvenated a bit as of late in season number eight now out of Cal it's Jared Goff rumors of Goff's demise Greatly exaggerated, it seems. Boy, what a big year he had last year. 29 touchdowns. It led the Lions to their first winning season since 2017. Under his leadership, the Lions expect to make the playoffs for the first time in a few seasons. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. to the 10 touchdown Detroit David Montgomery 83 yards and the Lions need just two plays on their opening drive to take the early lead well if they didn't get the wake up call before the game they got it right now two plays already in the end zone I think of it in boxing terms because whether it's a big shot with your first one or a probing one a little bit of a jab the second one was the payoff. That was the big one that landed. One, two, end zone. Riley Patterson now for the extra point. It's up, it's good, and the Lions lead 7-0. So two plays on that scoring drive. That's how they drew it up. And the long run into the end zone, and what a run it was. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This fielded right at the goal line. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. So the Charger offense making its way out, and at the controls is the league's second leading passer a year ago. At 25 years of age, out of Oregon, it's Justin Herbert. And I'll bet he's talking to his guys about resisting the temptation to try and turn this into an up and down game. Almost like basketball, where both teams press and one team gets an advantage, our team's trying to run with them and they're just not equipped for it. Doesn't matter whether you're equipped or not, just settle in, get calm before you go for the big strikes. 
That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. And we see the emphasis early here. Get your star receiver involved, able to do it successfully. Not a bad start to begin with, that's for sure. And to me, this play says our guy is better than your guy's up. Because you know, a player of his stature, he won't just be single covered all game long. It's going to involve multiple people. And right away, they told the other team, guess what? He's just better. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 43. They'll run for the first time with Austin Eckler. Derek Barnes in on the stop. Here's a second and five. A shotgun snap for Herbert. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Now it's Herbert. Looking downfield, and that's caught right side. He's got his man. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. So they gave up the early touchdown. This has been a pretty good response. Nice drive, taking it down first and goal. And I know all the cliches jump in, right? Don't get away from your game plan too early. Make sure you're settled down. Don't panic. But it's all true, isn't it? Because otherwise, you get out of what you plan to do during the game, and it's still early. Don't get crazy because you gave one up. Just respond as you just noted. Well, they go with a tight end carry. And he gets halfway there for the four to the two on a gain of two. You got to be ready for anything when you play defense against this head coach. That is not something you'd expect to see here in the red zone. But it winds up getting him a few yards. From the two now, second and goal. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. And this is caught. He's got a touchdown, L.A. Austin Eckler, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Chargers respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. I do believe we came here to see a game, didn't we? And it looks like he's running what we call routes versus air. You just go out there with your offensive unit and throw the football with no defense. He's five for five on the opening drive. He was on his game there for drive number one, but my only thing is now he can't go any higher than that. He was so perfect. Can he do it again later? Yeah, all he cares about right now is making it 10 for 10, 15 for 15, oh, that and he feels like he can get it done. Extra point up and good by Dicker, and we are tied at seven. team has scored 7-7 here as the kicks away Khalif Raymond now here's Khalif Raymond to return and he brings this out past the 20 to the 24 back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive First down, it's gone. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Whenever I see an in route dropped, as we just saw in that play, I'm always thinking that in the back of their mind, they're worried about what's coming at them because they're going towards traffic on that route as opposed to being away from it and maybe having a little bit more space. Second and 10, golf again. That's taken in, complete to Reynolds. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. They'll 
Come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. Throwing on third. Golf. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. A good scheme and an early win for this pass rush. They got back there before he could work through his entire progression and ended that play early. Jack Fox out to punt here on fourth down. And the rookie Darius Davis deep for the Chargers. He'll take it a few steps in front of the 50. They'll score that a 36-yard punt. And the Chargers will be set up pretty well as they take over in great field position. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. The last time out, they had to march almost the full length of the field for their touchdown. So here, much easier, Charles, with this better starting field position. I love your sarcasm, but I love even more your observation because, look, what they did last time out, now with a shorter field, they should have a lot of confidence that they're going to put more points up on the board. That's a play to take note of there for the defense. I think in the future, if you're going to try and block him, maybe you get a guard to help double team him and try and steer him out of the play. They should have done it on that snap. Back to throw here, Herbert. He'll drop this one off to Eckler. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Call it a gain of six on the play. Third and seven now. Here's Herbert. And he's going to go down. Back near midfield at the 49. Flying in for that sack, Aiden Hutchinson. Well, how about that? A dime set on defense. Six defensive backs. None of them blitz. They're just back there in coverage. Defensive lineman gets the sack. That's where the O-line, they go to the sideline, they keep their, their helmets on so the cameras can't find them, right? Yeah, the cameras can't find them, but I know one thing. The O-line coach will. A fourth down, so the Chargers trot out J.K. Scott. Back deep, Khalif Raymond. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. Another shot now for this Lions offense. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. That's a really good gain right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle, everyone's going to want to touch the football. Be a lot of chattering now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. On second down, here's Gibbs. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play. So now third down coming up. That was a terrific play causing a loss as a middle linebacker simple. You can either fill holes or you can attack them as he did there. Chargers trot out their dime package, expecting a throw on third down. There's Goff. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Asante Samuel Jr., and they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. Well, this had trouble written all over from the start. He's got two extra defensive backs in the game he's got to deal with. They're in a dime set. So everywhere he's looking, he's seeing a different color jersey. And sure enough, this one winds up being intercepted. L.A. readies for its next possession. They'll have very good starting field position here as they try to break our tie. And they start first and ten. After the turnover, here's Herbert. Throws left side, complete to Keenan Allen. Chargers have taken the lead. And that is the definition of yards after catch. They go short on the pass, and the receiver does the rest. C 
seems so harmless, doesn't it? To throw it underneath, a short pass like that. But boy, it gets dangerous in the hands of the right receiver as he makes a move and takes it the distance. Dicker now to tack on the extra point. It's up and good, and it's 14-7 now here in the first quarter. Well, they got the ball in great field position. One play later, boom, end zone. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Lions offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. The throw over the middle, taken in. A big play there for Detroit at even 50 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. From the red zone now, Goff. And that's hauled in by St. Brown over the middle. And the Lions are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago. Followed it up with another nice one here. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. Montgomery is into the end zone. A touchdown, Lions. So two drives, two touchdowns here in this first quarter, and he's got both of them. Well, he's certainly setting himself up for a big game here, and I think if the play caller doesn't get in his own way, they should keep riding him the entire way of this game. Until the defense proves they can stop him, that's what I would call. Patterson now for the extra point. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. A drive there of just four plays. And it was David Montgomery's touchdown run that polished it all off. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. 
It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. Meanwhile, Herbert's throw there complete to Allen. And Allen's going to have a Chargers first down as the tackle made up near the 35. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. And he'll go right back to Allen, that's complete. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it'll be second down. Out of the gun, Herbert. Going back to Allen, he's got him again. And Allen's going to have a Chargers first down up to the 47-yard line. It'll be a gain of six that time as it moves the chains as well. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Then he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. It's Eckler again. And same result. He's going to take this just to the line of scrimmage before running into a brick wall. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. Off the play fake to Eckler, it's Herbert. Oh, and this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. On is the punter Scott here as he gets this one away. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Lions will take over. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And the momentum just continuing to build and build for them. They had a touchdown, their last drive to tie the game. Now their defense does its job, and Charles, all of a sudden, they've got a chance to capture the lead here. And we're seeing a really nice exhibition of what coaches love to call complimentary football. Offense gets a tie, defense does its job, gets the ball right back, and their teammates now have momentum. What a nice job they're doing, all doing it together. A shotgun snap for Gong. Going deep for Montgomery. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Well, they approach this drive with a lot of confidence after the last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them humbling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Golf. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. These two teams all tied after one. The Lions with the football here to begin the second quarter. So from the 36 now, first and 10, as they've got it as we resume action. First down, here's the run to Montgomery. And that'll hurt the average a bit, as this time they're able to get him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Well, with the kind of half he's had, I think we can forgive him that run, right? Not every run's going to be a big play, is it? No, and also the blocking just wasn't there. No room to run. Yeah, defensively, they got to find a way to build on that because he's eating them alive in the first half. 
Here's Goff now on second down. He'll find his rookie tight end, Sam Laporta. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential. But when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. The Lions on third down, just one for three thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Now it's gone. That is caught. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. This is a nice job of just taking what the defense is going to give you on third down. You're not looking for a big play downfield. You just want to find something that can get you past the marker. They found it and were able to keep the drive moving. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Montgomery back to the ground. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. This guy's well on his way now to a big game on the ground. It's another good run there. Puts him over the century mark in yardage. And we're still in the second quarter. Now a second and six. But again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. A timeout here for an injured player. And definitely not what this defense wants to see. It's Khalil Mack who's in some discomfort. More from L.A. in a moment. They run Montgomery. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. Now during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. More from LA in a moment. So from the 26-yard line, here's second and nine. Going up the gun, Montgomery. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. A gain of two there on the heels of a one-yard pickup on first. drive they're two for two on third down conversions but they need seven yards here from the gun here's golf pass taken in by his big tight end and he is going to have a lion's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion well they've had a great impressive drive going here and that pickup ensures the drive continues and not only do you continue the drive which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. Shifts by at the 15. Able to fight for about four yards there to the 13. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Second down and six now. From the gun, it's a give to Montgomery. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the 8-yard line. It's a 5-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. But really, that was no surprise there. They've been running it well all game, and I know goals change all the time, but any team will take that type of run each and every time. Goff wants to throw on third and one. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And the Lions are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on third and one. 
And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. They'll run with Montgomery. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. That didn't just feel like good defense there. That felt like pride, didn't it? He's already gotten into the end zone twice, trying to get there for a third time. No one likes to have the hat trick against them. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Once more, Montgomery. And this time, he'll score. Touchdown, Lions. So what a first half that he has had running the football. That now three touchdown runs. And I would anticipate that when they get down in the red zone, he's going to get more chances as this game goes on. And I think that the guys blocking for him are going to ask for him to get more chances. They like the rhythm they've developed. Extra point try now for Patterson. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. And what a drive that was. 16 plays all told. And it was David Montgomery's touchdown run that polished it all off. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. They'll look for a drive to tie this up, down 21-14 as they have it first and 10. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle. And that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Now it's Herbert. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Quentin Johnston, the intended receiver on the play, but now it's third down. Herbert now. On the screen, this is Eckler. Room past the 35, and he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield, a really nice pickup. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Herbert. Trying to force it to Allen, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Cameron Sutton, and the Lions are going to take over here up near the 40. Well, he's certainly not been afraid to take some chances downfield. Now, look, it's paid off for him a couple of times. That time, not so fortunate. And that's where I want to start, what you said. It's paid off a couple of times, so his aggressiveness it's been good for his offense for the most part. So he throws an interception there. No one likes that, but I would not rein him back in. The return on investment thus far has been pretty good. Two touchdowns to one interception. You see David Montgomery heading back out to begin the drive. Well, there you see it. A hat trick of touchdowns, and we're <laughs> in the first half. I'm betting that he was over there saying, feed me. Yeah, there's no doubt. I got to eat. There is no doubt, and he's real hungry right now. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest about it, though. That we don't have to be on the field to understand what he's telling everyone. Give me the ball. We're locked in with the offensive line. They're taking care of business, and I'm finishing things off. Well, heck, he might be able to turn this into an historic event. We'll see. Second and ten. They'll 
They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. The Lions on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third and nine. Goff now looking to throw. And that will be incomplete. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. On fourth down, Jack Fox on to punt for Detroit. Returnable here for Davis. And just a net of 31 here. 40-yard punt, nine on the return. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. Well, still early in this one, Charles, but the last time this offense was out there, they threw their first interception of the ball game, so trying to avoid repeating that mistake here on this drive. And to put a positive spin on it, at least it happened in the first half and not in a close game in the fourth quarter, but you're absolutely right, partner. One of the last things this offensive quarterback wants to witness again in this game. Kind of an obvious question, Charles, but anything you try to avoid after your first pick or you say it's one interception, we're still in the first half, I'm about to do the same thing. I think you want to avoid playing scared, you know, and put it into the mind of the quarterback that you've lost confidence in him. Make sure you get some throws that he's going to be able to complete, make him feel good about himself, and continue to run your offense. They need two. Here's third down. Justin Herbert looking to pass. A little short pass. This is Everett. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to convert, albeit not by much, on third and a yard. Oftentimes we think of those tough yards as grinding yards that a running back has to pick up. How about the tight end there picking up the first down in that situation? That's what he's there for, right? Big fella, get it to him. Let him fight off some people and pick up the necessary yardage. Herbert on first down now. And his throw here is incomplete. His tight ends go. He might not provide the super flashy plays very often, but he's pretty reliable. Usually an excellent target and normally catches what's thrown to him, but he didn't on that play. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Eckler now between the tackles. And there just continues to be nowhere to run. He's bottled up again at the line of scrimmage. Calling no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. Defense doing their job, really nowhere to run the football. Yeah, it's almost textbook, wasn't it? Every place he tried to find an open spot, there just wasn't one. Congrats to the defense, no gain. Call fitting your gaps, right? I love it. You're exactly right. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. This is taken at the 18. 43-yard punt, but they get nine back on the return. And it will be first and ten as they take over. David Montgomery and the Lions about set to begin this next series. He's already cruised past the 100-yard mark. We haven't even gone away for halftime yet. He might not want halftime. <laughs> all right, why cool off? Keep well, everybody here. <laughs> let's stay out on the field and keep going. But all that being said, everything is really working well for them. The play calling's been excellent. The blocking's been terrific. And obviously his vision and legs have hurtled him to this big number so far. We could be seeing something really special here. And we'll see how much they give him the ball here. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Back to the ground, this time Montgomery. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30.
Throwing on third. Golf. And this is going to be incomplete. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback when those extra defenders are on the field. Dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit in the football. Here's Jack Fox on to punt. Davis now to return it. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And they will take over first and 10. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with a slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. First down now, but that clock rolling. Here's Herbert. Throw right side is into the hands of his tight end, Everett. And he's taken down inside the 30. And they get 17 more on that one and another first down. Now they'll try and set up the quarterback draw here. And he'll just plow right into a host of tacklers. Nothing there at all, and it'll be second and 10. third and four. A shotgun snap for Herbert. He's got his target. That's complete. And they're going to have a first down and also well in the field goal range all the way down to the 15 here. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Line of scrimmage, the 15, it's first and 10. Herbert operating from the red zone. Touchdown, Chargers! Jalen Guyton. Touchdown, Brown. And the Chargers are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. These two teams in this first half, it's been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, <laughs> but offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up, and we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Today is track shoes. That's what we've seen with these offenses. Yeah, it's been an absolute track meet so far. and Fun to watch. Teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kicks away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23 yard line. And the Lions going to go back on offense one final time in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. 
I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. From the 28, it's second and five. Now gone. Toward the sideline, he will have the first down. Good catch. He was able to keep the feet in bounds. Here's Goff. And that'll be caught by St. Brown. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. First down, Lions on a pickup of 13. Here's Goff. Over the middle and taken in by Laporta. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. From the right hash, this from 48. Patterson's kick is good. And with it, they'll take the lead at 24-21. So a big play before the end of the half to get them into this spot, and they cash in with three. How about the one-two to the solar plexus on that one? The big play, the field goal, not much time left on the clock. That's the way to go into the half. So with three seconds remaining in the half, they will line up to kick this one away. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Here's Jonathan Coachman. Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment, but welcome everyone to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. In that first half, it was David Montgomery who proved to be tough to stop. He's up over 100 yards rushing for the game already, and he scored three times as well, as they went to him early and often, and with good reason. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. so far we'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half and here comes a return from just beyond the goal line and no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17 yard line out comes the chargers as they'll go on offense now to start this third quarter this offense charles had a strong first half throwing the football at least in terms of yardage but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here 
trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game. And to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. Second and ten. Here's Herbert once more. He's got Allen. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And some room to maneuver. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've run the bell three times with passing touchdowns. But guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. First down, and they stick with Eckler. Powerful running. There he goes, right side. And all the way in for the Charger touchdown. Austin Eckler with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chargers have retaken a third quarter lead. I guess when you look back on it, it was just a matter of time until he popped a big one like that. And, you know, at halftime, you and I discussed it. They had done a nice job on him in the first half. But there were a couple of occasions where it felt like he might wiggle out of traffic and take it to the house. Finally here in the second half, that got done. Extra point try now from Dicker. And that will make this a four-point game. Just a four-play drive that time. And it's Austin Eckler who finishes things off for the touchdown run. Now, after the Dicker field goal, he's back out, ready to send it away. Taken at the goal line. And able to get this out to the 25. So we get a look at the Lions offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. Goff in this Lions offense, set for a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. He'll begin by dropping it off to Montgomery. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? From the 29, here's second down at seven. They'll fake the handoff. Now go off. It's going to be knocked away and incomplete. That was a long pass attempt downfield, and the ball was popped up in the air. And how come things go from really fast to almost slow motion when the ball's up in the air and the defender's unable to haul it in before it hits the ground? They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Now gone. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right? Safety valve. Throw one to him every so often, but mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. Up the middle, it's Montgomery. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big-bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Second down and eight. Yeah. 
Gibbs straight ahead. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Going deep for Montgomery. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. The offense schemed going five wide, trying to create a chance for the big shot, and they took it. If he comes down with that one, that's a huge offensive swing. But credit the defense with a nice play, knocking that one away. And here now the punter Fox as he sends this one away. The Chargers getting set to go. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time. Now, Charles, remember they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. Offense looked a little bit discouraged after that play, shaking their heads a bit, looking at each other. I think they thought they'd get a lot more out of that call. Sometimes you do get the running lane you want, and other times, the defensive front, they just break up the play before it can get going. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Off the play fake to Eckler, it's Herbert. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. It'll go as a gain of 11 and a Charger first. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. They run on first down as they're able to get this forward for about four. End result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game, or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. Justin Herbert looking to throw on second down. Complete to Johnston here. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle, it doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. 23 yards, the final tally. They go back to the ground now with Eckler. And he stopped immediately there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because, really, they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. He's got his man. That's Everett, the tight end. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. On first down, it's Herbert. 
Throwing into traffic there, and that's complete. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. He'll get only two there, and it's second and goal. Back to throw here, Herbert. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. It certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? Play action, it's Herbert. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. They may be snapping the ball near the goal line, but all you're thinking defensively, keep them out of the end zone. Force the incompletion, force them into going for three and not giving up six. Cameron Dicker on now to try the field goal. From the left hash, a chip shot here. And his kick is good. And that'll make this a seven point game. So I'll give him three on that drive. You know, normally you'd say we'll take it, but the way points have been flying around, it feels like a little bit of a letdown. Yeah, you just have to wonder, are field goals going to be enough? Because as you pointed out, the way touchdowns have been scored, does kicking a field goal actually put you at a disadvantage the rest of the way? Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. Here's Raymond bringing it out. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked out officially at the 21. And Detroit back in possession of the football. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Brandon, one thing about blitzes, they really confuse offensive linemen at times. And what you have to do is lock in on the guy right in front of you. If you don't, you saw the end result. Defensive tackle end up making the play. Ball at the 23, second and eight. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. 151 yards for him on the ground now and three touchdowns to go along with it. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over a buck 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Montgomery on the counter. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. It was Joey Bosa working his way in to bust that one up. You know, it's become cliche, but we have seen it and observed it. When runners have days like what we're seeing right now, they often take their offensive linemen out for stakes afterwards, don't they? They all go buy them dinner. But after a play like that, he might reduce him. Might go to the corner and just grab a hot dog or two, huh? Hey, I mean, they still been blocking for him well in this game. They don't get one mulligan up for him. Okay, so what we're saying then is we're going petite filet <laughs> instead of porterhouse. Eight ounce. That. Eight ounce is good. All right, just check it. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. They'll fake the give. Now gone. Too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. Partner, the way this offense has marched up and down the field during this game, it's almost a surprise to see an incomplete pass on third down, isn't it? And they have had their foot on the gas all game long, but here finally stalling out. Here comes the Lions punter now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. We'll call it a 42-yard punt, three on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 21. He'll hand off here to Eckler. 
And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want. But on the defensive side of the ball, you scramble a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. A yard all they need, but it's third down. Justin Herbert looking to pass. That is caught, and he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. On first and 10, Herbert. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. A play fake, and now Herbert to throw. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. Dropped for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. What a nice read and play by the defensive tackle. Never bought the play action fake. Went right for the quarterback and put him on the ground. So a tough situation to overcome here. Third and 17. Now it's Herbert. On the screen, this is Eckler. And he gets this only to the 41. Not near enough for the first. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. That's a nice design there, but sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down and force you to adjust. You always appreciate guys trying to help you, but maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Fielded just inside the 20. Three quarters in the books. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. It's the Lions trailing, but with possession of the football as we get set to bring you the fourth quarter. Play action. It's gone. well upfield across the 45. That one goes for 24 yards. Well, this offense hasn't been at their best here. They've made some mistakes. They've been frustrated. They've been largely shut down. But then you look up and say, wait a second. This is a one-score game. So they're still very much in this, and they're on the move here with a first down. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. A give to Montgomery out of the gun. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. That time they're able to bottle him up, but he's having a really nice game. I agree with that. Let's just go big picture, right? Every back that's in the Hall of Fame had carries where they didn't gain yardage or they lost yardage, but you stick with them, don't you? When they're having a good game, keep feeding them. There's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. So eight yards on the completion there, and now two yards to go on third down. Close fist to the referee, and that means fourth down. 
This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Fourth down, no problem. Just a ho-hum pickup of 14 to keep the offense on the field. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. You still have to get it done, as you noted, and they did. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. Tackle made there by the safety, Derwin James. From the 23, here's second down and five. Now it's gone, off the bootleg. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. He's trying to get it to Amon Ross St. Brown, and it's third and five. shows you right there he can do more than just cover in the secondary from that free safety position yeah the evolution of the position has really been significant hasn't it because a lot of teams no longer have a free safety strong safety designation they just have safeties so wherever the ball is one can be close to the line of scrimmage one can be deep and vice versa on that play how about that tackle we just saw pretty nice desperation time for golf on fourth and it's incomplete they cannot convert and they turn it over the lions turned away on fourth down and the charger defense stands tall and they get the football back well their first fourth down attempt earlier was successful this one backfires for a turnover on downs i like their aggressiveness i like what they're doing they got it the first time they went for it why not a second time i don't think they'll be daunted from attempting it again if you're on the defensive side of the ball, though, any fourth down stop is a big momentum play. And find Everett there, complete. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's where they're going to ride. And he's going to be stacked up right at the line of scrimmage. Nothing there for him. Second down. And when the defense wins and gives up no yardage on a running play, that's something they can build on and carry themselves forward throughout the game. Here's second and ten. Herbert now. Quick slant complete to Keenan Allen. And getting this just shy of midfield. They'll spot it at the 49. Herbert with a connection to Allen for a charger first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. From the 44 now, here's second and four. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. 104 yards on the ground for Eckler here. That's a first down. And carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, 
Keep pounding him. Let's keep the ball. Keep uh, nowhere to go for Herbert, and he's going to go down. There's Charles Harris getting home for the sack. And that sack, Charles, just looked like a case where a speedy defensive end is a little bit quicker than the offensive tackle. Yeah, it makes it difficult for a tackle to determine what exactly to do. Do you do the kick slide and try and get back in the pocket and meet him there? Do you meet him on the line of scrimmage, what they call a quick set? In any event, right now, he's having his troubles. So just three yards on the completion there. And it'll be a third and about 13. Not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Going up top. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs, able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. Here's J.K. Scott now as he's on to punt for L.A. That one sails out of bounds. The side judge will walk it off. And he says it went out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Nice punt. So out now come the Lions. Well, they've got some stuff to build on from that last drive because they moved the football CD and then they tried to go for it on fourth down, didn't convert, probably left a bitter taste in their mouths. I would say so, and I think that they go out in this series determined for that not to happen again. In fact, they don't even want to get to a fourth down opportunity. They just want to make sure they get it done within the parameters that they've set for themselves. Run their offense, get it into the end zone. Yeah, I think a little bit of determination and a dash of anger. Out of the gun, gone. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor. And it's a first down. blocks and actually slip them and make a tackle on that play. That's big time. To throw on second down is gone. Reynolds with a catch out on the right side. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. That catch puts him over 70 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. now to throw. A quick throw there is incomplete. Now a second and ten. going to be caught by Peoples Jones and he'll be taken down but not before he works it past the 50. Well this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route and they just executed that one pretty well. Fourth quarter down to the final two minutes and we've got a one score game. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens in bounds. They'll try again here, second and ten. 
Now it's gone. Oh, short pass here taken in by Laporta. An incompletion, now a short pickup. That's not going to do it. Yeah, you've got to get to the line of scrimmage quickly, get set up, and aim downfield. A big play looming on third down. Now Montgomery, he's got it on the draw. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot, it'll be fourth and inches. The Charles are trying to protect this lead late. Those are the types of mistakes they could afford to go without. But the last thing you want to give them is help in completing a comeback, which is exactly what that penalty does. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Goff. Second down, eight yards to go. Goff now to throw. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. And the Chargers have just about sewn up this football game. That throw, Charles, over the middle of the field, and a few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any type of a missed throw or maybe the ball's tipped or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as he'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Victory formation time for the Chargers. They take a knee. And the Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they stop it here with a minute seven remaining. And they'll indeed take a knee. to a knee and that should just about write it into this one. Here's J.K. Scott now as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. Fielded at about the 28. ball game comes to an end on that last play Charles they were on the wrong side of midfield they needed something near a miracle and they couldn't get it done yeah the effort that was good very good in fact they were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity couldn't get it done but a nice game overall